Hello mga ka-learners! Happy hours sa inyo dyan! Kumusta kayong lahat? Nandito na naman ang inyong Sir Elmore at muli tayo magkakasama dito sa YouTube para sa inyong pag-aaral virtually. Sa aking mga estudyante dyan, hi sa inyong lahat! At sa oras na ito, tatalakayin natin ang tungkol sa discriminant and nature of the roots of quadratic equations. Nung nakaraang uh, lesson, napag-aralan natin ang tungkol sa solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. So ngayon, may part sa quadratic formula na magagamit natin dito sa discriminant in nature of the roots of quadratic equations. And our objectives are, the learner determines the discriminant of a quadratic equation. And, the learner characterizes the roots of a quadratic equation using the discriminant. Alright, let us understand. The discriminant is part of the quadratic formula underneath the radical sign. It is used to characterize or to describe the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. In a quadratic formula, x equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, the value of the expression b squared minus 4ac is called the discriminant of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals to 0. And the discriminant can be 0, positive and a perfect square, positive but not a perfect square, or negative. Okay, let us consider the table below and let us analyze how this quantity helps in describing the roots of a quadratic equation. We have the first column equation, the second one, we have v squared minus 4ac or the discriminant. And in the third column, we have the roots. Okay, let us uh, start with the first one. x squared minus 4x plus 4. And the value of v squared minus 4ac or the discriminant is 0. And we have the roots are... 2 and 2. Next, x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals 0. And the value of b squared minus 4ac or the discriminant is 9. And the roots are negative 5 and negative 2. Next, x squared plus 6x plus 3 equals 0. And we have the discriminant is 24. And the roots are negative 3 plus square root of 6 and negative 3 minus square root of 6. And the last one is 3x squared minus 7x plus 5 equals 0. And the discriminant is negative 11. And the roots, no real roots or solutions. Okay, next. Based on the table, the following conclusions were made. Number one, a discriminant of zero or d equals zero indicates that the roots of the quadratic equation are real, rational, and equal. Again, if the discriminant is zero, then the roots of the quadratic equation are real, rational, and equal. Number two, a discriminant of positive and a perfect square where d is greater than zero, where d is a perfect square, indicates that the roots of a quadratic equation are real, rational, and not equal. Again, if the discriminant is positive, and a perfect square, the roots are real, rational, and not equal. Number three, 
a discriminant uh, positive but not perfect square where d is greater than zero where d is not a perfect square indicates that the roots of quadratic equation are real irrational and not equal again if the discriminant is positive but not a perfect square then the roots are real irrational and not equal okay rational and irrational are all real numbers or belong to real numbers next number four a discriminant of negative or d is less than zero indicates that the quadratic equation has no real roots or no real solutions all right so in numbers two and three the discriminant is greater than zero so therefore that is positive and in number four the discriminant is less than zero so therefore that is negative okay next how to solve or to determine the discriminant so these are the steps on how to solve or determine the discriminant of a quadratic equation number one always remember that the quadratic equation must be in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero number two identify the values of a b and c respectively Number three, let the formula of discriminant as d equals b squared minus 4ac. Number four, substitute the values of a, b, and c to the formula of discriminant. And last, simplify. We have this. Examples. Calculate the discriminant and examine the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equations. Number 1, x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals 0. And observe, the equation is already in standard form. So let us identify the values of a, b, and c respectively. And here, a equals 1, b equals negative 4, and c equals 4. Next, substitute the values of a, b, and c in the equation d equals b squared minus 4ac. So we have d equals negative 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 4. And we have to simplify negative 4 squared is 16. Negative 4 times 1 times 4 is 16. So we have d equals 16 minus 16 and that is d equals 0. Since the discriminant is zero, we can say that the roots of the quadratic equation x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals zero are real, rational, and equal. Again, the roots of this quadratic equation are 2 and 2. So, they are real, rational, and equal. Next, number 2 x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals 0. And the equation is also in standard form. So we have to identify a, b, and c. a equals 1, b equals 7, c equals 10. Again, substitute the values of a, b, and c in the equation d equals b squared minus 4ac. We have d equals 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times 10. 7 squared is 49. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times 10, that is negative 40. So now we have d equals 49 minus 40, and that is d equals 9. Now, the discriminant is 9, greater than 0, and a perfect square. Since the discriminant is greater than 0 and a perfect square, we can say that the roots of the quadratic equation x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals 0 are real, rational, and not equal. Again, the roots of this quadratic equation are negative 5 and negative 2. 
So, the roots are real, rational, and not equal. Number three, x squared plus 6x plus 3 equals 0. The equation is already in standard form. So, identify the values of a, b, and c. a equals 1, b equals 6, c equals 3. Substitute, we have d equals 6 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3. 6 squared is 36. Negative 4 times 1 times 3 is negative 12. So, we have d equals 36 minus 12. And that is d equals 24. Now, 24 is greater than 0 but not a perfect square. Since the discriminant is greater than 0 but not a perfect square, we can say that the roots of the quadratic equation x squared plus 6x plus 3 equals 0 are real, irrational, and not equal. Again, the roots of the equation are negative 3 plus the square root of 6 and negative 3 minus the square root of 6. The number or the roots are real but they are irrational because we have the presence of a radical term which uh, cannot be expressed as a quotient of two ratios and then they are not equal. Okay, next, number 4. 3x squared minus 7x plus 5 equals 0. The equation is already in standard form, so we have to identify the values of a, b, and c. a equals 3, b equals negative 7, and c equals 5. Next, substitute the values of a, b, and c in the equation d equals b squared minus 4ac. Now, d equals negative 7 squared minus 4 times 3 times 5. Negative 7 squared is 49. Negative 4 times 3 times 5 is negative 60. That is why we have d equals 49 minus 60. And that is d equals negative 11. And negative 11 is less than 0. Since the discriminant is less than 0, we can say that the quadratic equation 3x squared minus 7x plus 5 equals 0 has no real solutions for roots. And if we are going to solve for the roots of the equation 3x squared minus 7x plus 5 equals 0, the roots are 7 plus the square root of negative 11 all over 6 and 7 minus the square root of negative 11 all over 6. The roots are not real because we have the radical term wherein the radicand is negative. So that is belong to imaginary numbers. So we have imaginary roots or solutions, meaning not real.